you could have an idea, but that idea also needs the craft to be involved to be able to shape it. An idea that doesn't see the light of day is just an idea that floats away. An idea that really takes the time to be crafted and then to be able to be amplified by the timing of it and the relevance of it, that is something that takes us to a completely other level of the idea that we want to accomplish. And this is what starts unifying everyone in that one single creative voice. I'm not saying that everyone's going to agree with it, but I could tell you that we have the ability to take all of these conversations, put them into one and put them out there. Once we find that commonality that exists globally, in the, in the case of the, uh, of the war in Ukraine, as an example, that is one thing that uh, I think the case that I'm going to show you in, in a little bit did very well, right? We tapped into everything that was happening around the world. And um, I don't know if you guys remember, but President Zelensky was giving different talks to different governments around the world. He was invited I believe he was to the House of Commons in the United States to give a talk, um, uh, same in, in Britain and also in Canada. In Canada, he gave a talk to the, uh, to the Canadian Parliament with uh, our Prime Minister being present there, obviously. And uh, it was so significant and so timely that we decided to tap into his speech to be able to really generate an idea that was going to benefit a certain cause for aid of humanitarian aid towards the people uh, that are being affected and impacted very directly um, with the war in Ukraine. What we did with that, I will show it to you. I think I have a little video. It's about a two minute video, but I want to put it uh, in front of you guys. It's a case that we put forward. But uh, I want to show you how we started crafting about this. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about it right after. The first city has fallen to the Russian. Russian forces struck from the air and on the ground and from all directions. Cities were bombarded and tens of thousands flooding across all its borders. Mr. Speaker, Prime Minister, members of the government, members of the parliament. Can you imagine famous CN Tower in Toronto? If it was hit by Russian bombs, I would like you to understand, and I would like you to feel this, what we feel every day. The communications agencies partnered to create these shocking images of famous landmarks like the CN Tower and Times Square and what they would look like if missiles and bombs struck them. It's exactly what Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky asked us to picture when he addressed the House of Commons in March. Cruise missiles are being falling down on your terrain. They bomb school buildings. And your children are asking you, what happened? Users are invited to visit the website feelwhatwefeel.com to see firsthand these shocking images. Encouraged to donate to Ukrainian charity Razum. Razum is one of the world's largest digital charities for Ukraine. Razum has enlisted hundreds of volunteers and raised millions to buy and transport medical supplies to Ukraine. Canada is sending humanitarian relief. Canadians, frankly, have really stepped up. Individual Canadians and businesses across the country have shown us an outpouring of support and solidarity. Ukraine says Canadian help will be key in the battles ahead. That's one of the examples of what we can achieve when we don't keep quiet, right? We have amazing voices as creatives, and it's nice to put them into motion to be able to generate fantastic work that actually matters, that creates that shift, that shifts of behavior, that awareness that leads into action. 
super important to really realize how big we can be as creative, which is something that is not easy to do all the time, right? We very often uh, very much concerned about the day to day, which is not something that's going to go away. But it's important to take a step back and look at what we're able to do. I think these talks, these are the type of talks that allow us to do that. And I'm really happy that you guys attend these talks because it allows you to pause. <clears throat> it allows you to pause for a moment and to see what's, what else is out there. What is it that my craft is able to achieve and how can I get to that? Not to forget that it's always going to be a challenge, right? It's that fight of the day to day of like what's urgent today. So I can really think about what I'm gonna do tomorrow. But tomorrow is very powerful when you don't forget about it. Hello, I'm RJ. I'm from DDB Manila, Philippines. I'm a senior copywriter. Hi, nice Hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, sorry, it's not a question, but I'm really interested with what you shown earlier. The the case video about uh Ukraine. Yeah. Where you 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 show the possibilities of what will happen if the if war actually expand or will will go yeah. beyond beyond Ukraine. I would really like to know the thinking behind the strategy. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like everything from scratch because it's really interesting. I mean, so, I got, yeah. Perfect. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about it from scratch just for you. So, you know, like I mentioned, like uh, President Zelensky had been doing the speeches throughout the government, right? And I'll tell you how the idea was born. Um, we were all paying attention to what he was going to be telling the Canadian Parliament. And in his words, he said, I want you to feel what we feel. And then he addressed uh, Prime Minister Trudeau directly and saying, imagine what it would feel uh, to have the CN Tower, which is a landmark in Toronto, to be bombed. Imagine how the Ottawa airport, what it would feel like to have that airport bomb. So, his intention was really to bring the war a lot closer to us so that we can feel something, right? Which is like what we try to do, right? Bring our work as close to people so they can feel something as well. So there was a creative team that came immediately the day after that speech and said, oh, there's a great opportunity here. Why don't we do exactly what he said, right? And make sure to get it as close as possible to home to be able to make people feel what they feel, right? So. That trigger everything in motion, right? Of course, you have creatives that are all super excited about this. Uh, it just so happened that the Oscars were just happening that the uh, that night, and uh, there's a company called Rodeo Effects that had won the Oscar for uh, uh, special effects in Dune. Just so happens that, that company is our neighbor here in Montreal where we're based. So we got on the phone with Rodeo FX and we said, listen, we have this great idea. We need the ability that you guys have with the craft to help us elevate this idea. They jump right in it, right? All of this was pro bono. They jump right in it and say, absolutely, let's do it. I'll put you in touch with one of the best artists that I have in LA. And everything started to work from there. After that, it was just a question to find an organization that was going to help us really push this out. And that was RASM. And the rest is history, right? So the, the inside, if you, you know, you're asking about the strategy, the insight was given to us by the speech of President Zelensky, in all honesty. It's one of those like gifts where you didn't have to dig that much. He actually gave it to you. Now, if you wouldn't have been paying attention, those things come and go. And then we're like, hmm, you know, we forget about it, which is why that curiosity that I was talking about, it's super important to be able to, to, to be always like on the lookout, to be able to see what is it that we can take and amplify as a big idea. Does that answer your question? Yes, absolutely. Actually, I learned so many things. And I would like to say thank you because I really love the, the, the time, the idea plus craft plus timing, plus relevance, plus bravery. It really fits everything that you, even the example that you've shown with the with the Ukraine, it, it, it encapsulates everything, yeah. that, that, that model. So yeah, thank Great. you so much. I really, well, thank really, you. Thank I, you. Uh, thank, thank you. you Thanks.